Hey, I'm Stormy Atlantis and welcome back to my channel where we are seeking alignment, discovering esoteric knowledge, and unraveling ancient mysteries. So today I'm going to teach you how to make moon water. Now essentially it's really simple. All you really have to do is place a jar of water out under the full moon to absorb its energies. However, I have seven tips to help you get the best results. So let's get started. Number one, you want to cleanse your space. Making moon water should not be something that you do haphazardly to like check off your to-do list. Uh, you want to create a sacred space. You want it to feel ceremonial. So before we even get started, you should smudge your space, smudge yourself, play some nice meditation music. Just set a good environment for what you're doing. Number two is to use glass. If you use plastic, you're just going to taint your water. It's a petroleum product and therefore it's toxic. You want to use something more natural like a glass container. I use really big mason jars. I recommend them. I think they're great. And if you want the ones that I'm showing in the video, I'll leave a link in the description box for you to get them. Number three is to use intention. Remember that consciousness is what makes up all things and therefore your intention is vital. I literally will sometimes speak to my water like it's my buddy and just say things like, hey man, you ready to get two step? Or the moon looks so bright, I hope you enjoy it tonight. Just make sure that while you're doing this process, you are consciously aware and present and setting appropriate attention for what it is that you're doing. Tip number four is to label your water. This is taking the intention setting a step further by making a physical representation of what it is that you're doing. I will typically label my water via the moon that it is on. So the last moon we had at the time of me filming this was a wolf moon and therefore I made a wolf moon label for my water. You can do it however you want. You can date it. You can just put full moon on it. You can put uh, whatever, whatever positive affirmation you want to use. But I recommend putting a physical label on your jar so that you have a physical representation of your intention. If you're interested in getting this old school label maker that I'm using, I will put a link in the description box for you to check it out. Tip number five is to use crystals. So if you're going to be charging and cleansing your crystals during the full moon anyways, you might as well just place them around the jar. So I like to kind of make a circle or place them close together. You can even take a crystal that is associated with whichever sign the moon is in and place it on top of the jar to help kind of channel the energy of the sign the moon is in. Tip number six is to do some visualizations and just spend some time with your water. After you place it outside, just hang out for a minute. Place your hand on the jar and visualize the act of the moon charging your water. You can do it in however you feel comfortable. I typically see like a bluish kind of pale bluish gray light kind of flowing directly from the moon down into the jar making the water kind of flow with its powers just stand there and do your visualizations to help increase its effectiveness tip number seven is restrict your moon water to moonlight moon water is special because it's moon water it's not like sun and moon water it's moon water so place it outside after the sun has set and set an alarm real early to go and get it before the sun comes up. You could even, if you don't want to get up early, just stay up late and after it's out there for a few hours, go and get it. But I recommend keeping it out of direct sunlight. That is why it's special. I would really love to hear what you guys are going to do with your moon water. So leave me a comment and let me know. And if you need some ideas of things you can do with your moon water, just leave a comment saying moon water uses or something like that. And I will go ahead and make a video on that as well. If you found this video to be useful or helpful, I would really appreciate a thumbs up. If you want to see more of my videos, make sure you subscribe. And if you want to see all of my videos, make sure you hit the bell. Follow me on all the things, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, you know the drill. Links in the description box, and I will see you guys around next time. Bye.